the history of abortion laws in the United States. Amen. And, um, and it reads, according to Roll Court, the restrictive criminal abortion laws in effect in a majority of states today are relatively recent vintage. Before 1821, when Connecticut passed the first state statute criminalizing abortion, abortion in the United States was sometimes considered a common law crime. Every state had abortion legislation by 1900s. The court concluded that the tax, the, the court concluded that the Texas statute and other abortion legislation in the United States were aberrations. So it used, it, it was illegal back then, and it's still illegal today in the sight of God. Praise Amen. God. The Lord don't care about no laws Amen. being changed or nothing. And Deuteronomy chapter seven verses 25, and He shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall begin, and they shall be given into him, his hands, into the times and time and dividing of times. That's what Barack Obama is doing today. He's legalizing abortion, and not since 1969, and today it had been performed over 53 million abortions. Hmm. Amen. Look how many babies that has been murdered, premeditated murder babies. And I want to read you how it all started uh, with this young lady. Her alias is her alias name is Jane Rowe. Right. It said in June 1969, Norma L. McCorvey, which is Jane Rowe, discovered she was pregnant with her third child. She returned to Dallas, where her friends advised her to assert, assert falsely that she had been raped, as she could then obtain a legal abortion, with the understanding that Texas anti-abortion laws allow abortion in the cases of rape and incest. However, this scheme failed, and there was no police report documenting the alleged rape. She attempted to obtain an illegal abortion, but found the unauthorized site shuttered, closed down by the police. Eventually, she was referred to attorneys Linda Coffey and Sarah Waddington. McCorvey would give birth before the case was decided. In 1970, attorneys Linda Coffey and Sarah Waddington filed lawsuit in the U.S. District Court in Texas on the behalf of Norma L. McCovey, which is Jane Rowe, under, under the alias Jane Rowe, the defendant in the case was Dallas County District Attorney Henry Wade, representing the state of Texas at that time. McCovey, who was no longer claiming her pregnancy, was result in rape. She never had an abortion, but this is how it all started off. The devil always going to have a beginning. This is how it all started off in 1969. Right. Right. Now, they said abortion is no human life. But I'm going to show you the beginnings of this human life. This is a baby. Yes. Six to seven weeks old, which is a month and a half in the sack. Now, you can't tell if the baby is a boy or a girl, but you can't tell this is a human. Amen. This is human life in this woman right here. Amen. Amen. Now, they saying that abortion is not murder. It's not. But it, it, what is it then? If you tear somebody's a human out of another human, that is murder. Yes. That's murder in the first degree. Matter of fact, it's premeditated murder. Yes. Now they say, oh, we have safe ways of doing abortion. But I can say it like this. If you can kill somebody, that's just like you can shoot me with a 22, but don't shoot me with a 12 gauge. Amen. Murder is murder in Jesus' name. Praise God. Murder is murder. Amen. Yeah. In 1960, now they use abortion as like a birth control. Yes. In 1960, 1960, they had uh, uh, legalized contraceptives, and this is how this is where the birth control this is where the birth control pill was birthed at in the 1960s. It's still murder, amen. It's still murder. Now you want to go out and party and do your thing, and you sleeping with all these type of men, and you come up pregnant, and you think it's the world's fault. That's your fault, <laughs> amen. amen. The only birth control I can tell you is say no. Right. That's the only birth control. <laughs> That birth control don't got no side effects. Saying no don't have no side effects. Amen. Praise God. You ain't going to mess up your body if you say no, and you're not going to rot. Amen. Amen. If you don't want no baby, say no. Amen. Amen. Get yourself in church. Amen. And, and come into holiness. And I thank and praise God for the true prophet of the Lord. Amen. Because a lot of churches, a lot of churches is not preaching against uh Abortion. Yes. They preaching for abortion. Mm -hmm. They on Obama's side. But we're not on Obama's side. We on Jesus' side. We on the word of God. Yes. And God said you cannot you cannot kill an innocent blood. That's innocent blood. And when me and my husband was doing the research on abortion, we had seen that um we seen an ultrasound abortion, meaning that they show the baby inside your stomach 
mm-hmm. having an ultra, you know, ultrasound and the baby being ripped out the stomach. Yeah. The baby was actually screaming. Yeah. The baby was screaming. Amen. As it was being pulled out of this mother's stomach. Yeah. He was screaming. Now what they do, when they pull this baby, they stick a tube up them. Yes. Tube up inside of the woman and, and you know, hit the baby. They put this tube in the back of this baby's head and drain out his, his brains. Yes. So the baby, it, eventually, he's, he's going to die. He's dead then. And when they pull him out, they're pulling out body parts. Yes. They're pulling out heads. Yes. They're pulling out arms, legs, and everything. Now, this is a aborted baby in one and a half months. You see the little hands. You see the feet. Amen. Like she said, it may fit in your little finger, but this is still a human life. Yes. This is still a human life. And all the blood that the woman loses uh, having this abortion, she's risking her life. That's right. Amen. So what you can do? You can come to full terms with this baby and just adopt it out. Praise God. Amen. Just adopt it out. Instead of committing murder. Because that's what it is. If it's not murder, if the abortion is not murder, then you might as well free everybody in the prison that committed first degree murder. Amen. You might as well open up the prison doors and free them. Amen. If abortion is not murder, I don't know what it is in Jesus' name. Amen. It's murder in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise Lord. Praise Lord. Those are words for my two evangelists. Yeah. Now, those that's viewing on the YouTube right now, y'all pay close attention to this because, you know, those that get ready to have the abortions and everything, y'all should take very heed to this because this, you know, you know, you know how, like, when you get ready to uh, kill a child, you know some got to come to you and just tell you that it's not right. That's true. You know it's wrong. That's true. The best thing for you to do is just take heed to that voice. Because once you do it, you know, you're going to feel very mi- miserable and it's going to be a, a negative mistake. Amen. But don't, you know, don't get me wrong now. Now, you can repent from this mistake Amen. and you can get your life right. Amen. But in the meantime, before you do this, the best thing to do is follow uh, follow God's orders. Now, I want to go to Proverbs chapter 6. Amen. And I'm going to go to verse 16. Now, this is God's order about, you know, taking an innocent life. Yeah. Yeah. Now, verse 16. These six things do the Lord hate. Now, y'all pay attention to this now. This is what God hates. Amen. The God of glory. The God that created the heavens and the earth. Even created you. Pay attention. Ye seven are an abomination unto him. Here we go. Here's go list right here. A proud look. A lying tongue. And hands that shed innocent blood. Amen. Now innocent blood represents, you know, you know, anything that can't defend itself. Perfect example is a baby. A baby cannot defend itself. You know, it can't fight, it can't swing, it can't say, no, I don't want to die, and none of that. All I can do is scream. Amen. Amen. So, you got this killer. That is a perfect example of shedding innocent blood. Now, just like my wife was bringing out, it's horrible with how these doctors are doing. I was watching this video with my wife, and I was kind of disgusted when I saw yeah. this. Didn't even want to eat after I saw yeah. this video. I mean, I ain't got my appetite till the next day, but that's a long story. But, how they just, you know, they suck some type of thing out of the woman's womb and the baby just start kicking and fighting and trying to, like he tried to escape. It's, yeah. it's just a sad thing to look at. You know, a precious little life, you mm. know, just being taken away, just like that. And then next thing you know, you see this two coming in, grabbing his legs. That's the first thing he does first. It grabs the legs and it pulls it out. Then it sticks the needle, you know, the back of the head and sucks the brains out. Yeah. And it pull it out, leaving the head inside the womb. Yeah. The head is inside the wound, the body's already out. Now they go take the rest of his head out. And this is where they throw it in. Let me show you the picture now. This is where they put him in. And they put him in some type of storage room. Mm. Some clinics, they throw him in the trash. Now, do, y'all look at this. You see how wicked, wicked, you know, wicked this is? This is very, very <coughs> wicked. Y'all take heed to what we're telling you. Do not get an abortion. Amen. And, if, and if somehow you don't want the child, do it decently and in order. Don't commit murder trying to be free when you really ain't free. That's right. <laughs> you know, suffer your consequences. 
You know, you can't say it's a mistake because you, you know, fornicating ain't no mistake. Hey, fam. You know, you, you did what you did and you reap what you sowed. Ain't that what the Bible teaches? Hey, Amen. You reap what you sowed.